Shalom, my brothers. Um, I just wanted to share um, something that uh, the Most High gave me to set me free from self-condemnation. Um, recently, one of my good friends was very uh, discouraged because he's overweight and he can't seem to stick with a dietary plan or a workout regimen. And actually, you know how we get as men, we start uh, uh, talking to ourselves in a negative way that, man, you really ain't a man because you can't stick to this. You will never look this way because uh, you have a fetish for donuts and you just lack discipline. And my friend was very, I mean, he was literally tearing himself down in front of me. Um, and because I love him, I had to counter uh, the lies or the deception with truth. And I told him, I said, my brother, a lack of discipline is not your problem, but a lack of desire is. He stopped and looked at me. He says, man, I never looked at it that way. I said, my brother, I said, you really don't desire being here. It's a lot of men who contact me on social media, men I run into at conferences and workshops. When we step aside, brothers, we all know we, many of us just fake it to make it every day. And we really aren't happy with life. We're not fulfilled. We, uh, we've allowed the limited definition of masculinity to define us as who we are, as God's creation. And so we stay in this box and really this box, we can't fit in this box. And because of that, we lack the desire to not only improve physically, but spiritually, mentally, and even in our relationships. And so I asked my friend, I said, hey, I said, let me ask you a question. I said, what if you went to your doctor for a checkup and he told you that, hey, my man, if you don't start eating right and working out, as soon as you leave this office, you're going to die in the morning. My friend looked at me, he said, man, without a question, I will start working out and eating correctly as soon as I leave that office. And I looked at him, I say, that wasn't discipline, that was a desire. I love the way Yahushua puts it. He says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Love is rooted in what? Desire. Keeping something or sticking to something or practicing something is rooted in what? Discipline. So always remember, it's the root, the principle you will always want to seek. So instead of condemning yourself, take time out to identify the emotion that's stopping you from taking care of yourself. And that's what I had to do. I had a lot of trauma in my life. And uh, just say for working out, for instance, uh, I had a good friend named Big D, beautiful brother, uh, phenomenal physique. Strong, one of the strongest brothers in Detroit. Dropped dead of a massive heart attack at, at uh, 41 years old. It snatched my desire away from working out. But I just thought it was, I was growing spiritually and I just thought weightlifting was vanity, it's meaningless, it doesn't really help you anyway, just physically. That wasn't righteous, I was just wounded and I was hurting because I yearned to be with my good friend. And because of that, I stopped working out and everything. And all of you know what I do. I need to be physically fit to continue to do what the Most High sent me here to do. But recently, he shared with me, Jason, it's not that you're not disciplined. It's the fact that you don't desire to do it because you feel that you're going to fail. You feel that you're not going to have your meals prepped. You feel that when your workout partner don't show up, it'll be two or three days that you don't go again. And that's when I realized motivation is fleeting. You have to have a drive in you that's bigger than you for you to do what's needed to be done. Um, another reason it's not discipline, I have several friends who could, great martial artists who could choke you out or tap you out within a matter of a minute. I got guys that could kick cups off your head. I got guys that could knock you out with one punch. I know men who are in like phenomenal physical shape. You can see they got, they got an eight, a 10 pack of abs and they can deny all the food, sweets and everything to maintain this physical look, but they can't deny their desires and keep their penis in their pants to save their own marriage. It's not discipline, 
It's the desire that leads us astray. And that's what the, our word teaches us as well. Our desires is what gives birth to sin. Also, our desires is what gives birth to righteousness if we desire what is right. Like uh, the Most High told Cain when he was about to kill Abel, he says, sin is crouching at your doorstep, but you must master it. But Cain's desire didn't align with righteousness because all he had to do was change his attitude and submit or present his best offerings to the Most High. And he didn't, and we all know what happened after that. So again, uh, I just want to take a moment to encourage you all to let you know, stop beating yourselves up, my brothers. The world does a great job at that already. Love yourselves. Find the beauty in the struggle. And understand it's not discipline. Take time out, meditate. And I'm gonna do a video soon teaching you how to breathe and analyze when these thoughts come, how to look at it and let it go, or how to hold it if it has any legitimacy, and then how to break it down so that it doesn't rule you anymore. Take the time out to do that so that you can, uh, so, that, so that those emotions and feelings will stop uh, killing your desire to do whatever it is you need to do to not only live, but to be successful in life and to be successful, more importantly, for Christ. So again, remember, it's always the root that comes before the fruit. Same thing with weightlifting. It's always the struggle, the push, the desire to get that weight up that brings the muscle. It's the desire to live and love living that makes you change your diet. It's the desire to give your wife what you feel inside about yourself, to express <clears throat> true love for her and not let it be hindered by the box of masculinity. The Most High created us to be comprehensive men and that's where we're headed on this journey. Shalom.